Hi guys, today's video is going to be about our most anticipated product, the Film Free Type M. This product is what you need if you want your final transfer to be perfect. We've been getting so many questions for the Film Free decal paper, so I've decided to pick a few from there. After watching this video, I hope you can perfect your techniques with a better finish. So let's get right into it. Where can you apply the film-free decal paper? Film-free decal paper can be applied on anywhere from curable surfaces like ceramics and glass to non-curable coated surfaces such as leather, metal and stone. What's so great about the M-type is that it can be used for all surfaces unlike the previous A and B type which will only work on certain substrates. Some of the things you should watch out when you print Film-free decal paper only works with laser printer. You cannot use an inkjet printer. Make sure you print mirror image, otherwise the image will be upside down. Load the paper in the manual feed slot. Before printing, make sure you change the paper settings. Different printers offer different paper options, but generally the heavy paper or the label paper option works the best. The image comes off with the film when I remove it after the first curing. This can happen if you don't cure or dry it properly. The guidelines on the instruction might not always work. It all depends on your machine and working environment. So what that means is that you might have to fire longer or at higher temperature. You also want to be very thorough with your squeegee. The image has to be absolutely flat and free of air bubbles before going to the kiln. Why does it matter? Because the air bubbles will swell up during the curing and therefore the image won't stick. Remove the film only after it is nice and cool. When do you use the glue? The glue is absolutely essential to get the decals to stick. You would need different types of glues depending on the substrate. There are W1 Plus and W2. W1 Plus is for substrates that won't absorb water and withstand heat curing. You use W2 for any products that will not work with W1 Plus. So that would be water absorbing, non curable surfaces like wood or plaster. Do you have to put an extra coating on top to protect the final image? That is totally up to you. To make the image last longer, you can apply the W1 Plus before the second curing process. Priming will make the finished product more shiny and durable. How long will the decal last? Actually, believe it or not, the film-free decal becomes more durable with time. If it's cured properly, it can be put in normal dishwasher as well. But the decal is not permanent, so any scratches or rubbing can damage the ink. Do not put it in water for too long on your first week after the production. That's it guys. Hope this video answered questions about the film-free decal paper. For more questions, leave comments below or email us at sunny at sunnyscoper.com. Thank you and stay safe.